Hello, welcome to video number seven. Let's talk about traffic sources. Okay, so there are many different types of traffic sources that you can use. Some people will recommend Facebook ads, but to be honest, Facebook ads are actually one of the hardest routes that you can take because you are going to need to have complex funnels to convert your traffic. So in other words, think about it. People are on Facebook not to buy. They are on Facebook because they're trying to figure out what their friends are doing, right? Or they're trying to socialize. So with Facebook ads, you have to put them into a funnel. You have to bring them back to uh, kind of your product or the niche that you're promoting and go from there. So you're going to need to have uh, a little bit more complex funnel. So sometimes you'll need to send them to an article from that article. You can retarget them and blah, blah, blah. Uh, that sounds a little bit more complicated to a newbie. So that's why we're not going to use Facebook ads. Then you can have what we call pops or pop unders. And what these are, can you imagine, let's say, for example, that you go to a fun website. And then you're going to have a bunch of uh, websites that pop under, maybe in a different tab. Maybe if you're using a mobile device, it pops under. So the reason why these work still is, is because they're not intrusive. If they were pop-ups and they popped right on top of somebody's browser, then yes, those would be very annoying and very intrusive. And the reason why this works is because somebody is searching for something and it pops up and pops under. So a lot of times they won't even know it's there until they exit out of their current browser. Now, if you target somebody in general offers like, you know, relationships, dating, health, fitness, things like that, or biz op, making money type stuff, those are very general niches that it'll essentially apply to every single person. Now, if we think about, let's say, uh, a philosopher called uh, Maslow. Maslow had a theory and uh, basically had done research and figured out that every single person needs a hierarchy of needs. For example, they need you know, food and water, they need a shelter, and then they need love, and then they need money to get you know, food and shelter and all of that. So because of that, if you have a generic audience, you can essentially promote very general offers and they most likely will convert. Now, remember you're promoting a very general offer to a very general amount of traffic who maybe they're not searching for a very specific thing. So some things will convert, some things won't. It's just part of the game. All right. Now, some traffic sources for pop unders is popads.com, popcash, Dot net. And these are some of the ones that we have used. In fact, we'll use pop ads as an example in the next video. And we'll show you how to set up a campaign and all of that. So let's go to these sites and we'll show you around. Okay, so popads.net, this is the first site. And I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to set up a campaign in pop ads what's nice about pop ads and pop cash which is uh, the website over here so this is popcash.net and this one is popads.net so it's not popads.com if we mentioned that before it is not it's actually the .net uh, but anyways what's nice about both of these sites is it doesn't require you to invest a lot of money in fact uh, you can just deposit a very minimal amount of money. I believe pop ads is like, I think I can't remember. It's like 10 or, or something around that number, but a lot of bigger traffic networks require you to deposit things like $200 or sometimes $500 and all of that. So uh, this is kind of newbie friendly, especially if you're on a budget kind of thing. All right, so Pop Ads also has the ability to get traffic from you know news sites, uh, general news sites around the world, um, adult sites, as well as mainstream sites. So depending on your offer, you can get, get an idea of whether Pop Ads will work or not. 
All right, so with that said, let's move on to the next video and I'm gonna walk you through step by step.